All right, guys, welcome to Carolina Motor Vlog. This will be my first video here, so bear with me. I hope the volume works and I hope the camera works out. This channel is going to be about moto vlogging on my Indian FTR 1200. This is a 2022 model. So let's get this thing started and let's get on the road. Alright, it's already warmed up. I'll see you guys on the road. Alright guys, we're on the road. I'm going to head over to my, uh, my spot where I like to let loose. I live in an area where I'm, I'm on the coast by the beach. But there's also, once you go inland, there's a lot of country roads where I can uh, open this thing up and hit some turns. This is a 2022 FTR 1200, making 123 horsepower. I'm not 100% quite sure of the torque. So I was thinking about it last night. I've been riding motorcycles. It's coming on 19 years since I got my first motorcycle. I've had sport bikes. I've had sport tours. I've had Harleys. The Harley thing just quite wasn't wasn't just right for me. So I went ahead and uh, sold that, and I got this FTR, and it kind of hits the best of both worlds here. It gives me a nice upright sitting position and gives me that power that I was craving with I was missing from the the bagger of the road king that I used to have we're coming up to one of the roundabouts or uh, I can get some lean going here you know it's always concerning when there's a ladder just sitting in the back of a pickup truck Please go right. Please go right. Of course not. Please don't go where I'm going to go. Please go straight. Please go straight. Don't pull out in front of me. Don't pull out in front of me. approaching my favorite country road here and of course we got an RV up ahead of us so let's just uh, hope he stays straight uh, he should stay straight there's really not much happening if we go left but we'll see if not there's plenty of spots where we're gonna just have to overtake them it just uh, it's just how it goes especially when you take a ride during the week on your lunch break uh, seems to be more cars on the road than normal nowadays, especially in the area that I live in. Does not look like he's going left. Only one of the cars is. Two of the cars are. They're going to have to get overtaken. You can tell this guy doesn't know what the hell he's doing. This car's getting passed up right now. My little twisty sign comes up. Yep, can't pass here.
over here. It's just how it goes. Right during the week of your lunch hour. in the truck by default and this car is going to go see you later in a little bit too it down we start to get into the neighborhood there's a marina over here so chop that down now and we're just gonna cruise and enjoy the rest of my lunch hour so this bike man it just pulls it's you know, it, it, it's got more horsepower than my 600 super sports used to have but uh it doesn't feel as fast. I, mean, I used to get them up to 140, 150 in, in no time. And it, it's just got to be the gearing. But the torque on this thing, oh my goodness. You know, it fits right in between like that MT-09 and the MT-10. You know, where it's, it's got more than that 9,500 horsepower, but does not have that 180, 190 horsepower of the Hypernakeds. balance and click it into sixth and just put along at 3500 rpm i seem to catch this mailman here every time must be the same route because i always go on my lunch break a nice little country loop that i do so i plan on doing a bunch of different things on the channel i'd like to I like to do a bunch of different things on the channel. I like to, we're gonna go to bike nights. And we're gonna go to Myrtle Beach Bike Week coming up here in May. And 
We also, uh, I also ride with the Punta Harley guys, and uh, we like to go visit historical sites within the area. Also have a trip planned up for the, the mountains this spring, and we're going to go to Deals Gap and all the mountain passes and Blue Ridge Parkway, and we're going to do all that kind of stuff as well. So you're definitely going to want to subscribe, and I'm sure my videos will get better every time as we go. And, uh, I appreciate your support. I'll catch up with you before we end the ride. All right, we're getting to the end of my ride here, and I like to take a nice little coastal ride. I think it's, a, it's more of an intercoastal ride, but it's nice to see the water and get a nice view towards the end of the ride, and, and it's back to work for the rest of the day. Must be a low tide. Very low. What's this guy gonna do? Let's turn our blinker on three miles before we turn. Probably gonna slow down to a stop before you actually turn. development in this area as you can see everywhere you drive they're, they're putting in a new neighborhood or a new plan or you know, even uh, behind my house they just put in two more houses I had a nice big backyard and trees grown forever and then BAM trees knocked down and two more houses so there's the intercoastal straight ahead there These are where the waterfront waterfront properties are within the area and the million dollar homes, a few of them. A nice big one there. And then you have normal size homes right next to them, so it's it's very modest. It's a cute little beach area we live in. It's it's not too commercialized. It's more of a relaxing kind of vacation destination. One's for sale right there. Golf course. Yeah, low tide, you really can't see the water too well. Another golf course over here. It's nice to be out and enjoy the day. It is 70 degrees out. That's a big house. Another couple big ones there. And they have docks that go right onto the intercoastal so they can have all their toys. area here. I guess it's a very popular bird watching area. A lot of birds and wildlife. You can get photos and all that good stuff. Beautiful homes. If I was the millionaire, this is where I would be buying my home. This is, uh, I think we're officially in Sunset Beach now.
always a dump truck always a dump truck so it's a little quiet now it's it's still off season it doesn't really pick up around here with tourists until after Labor Day or after Memorial Day Memorial Day to Labor Day it's it's very a uh, hot very hot here and uh, not well, not too hot in temperature but hot is enough a lot of tourists and, and people coming to visit but we're gonna head over to my town Ocean Isle Beach and we'll take a ride over the bridge and see what the ocean looks like and then we'll end it there all right we're back where we started let's go over the bridge get a nice view of the ocean and it's time to head home 419 here I just passed a place 399 20 20 cent difference being close to the ocean to being a little inland Come on, no one's coming. Come on, no one's coming. Oh, you are going to go the same way I'm going to go, aren't you? The roundabouts, people just like lose their brain, man. They just don't understand what needs to happen when they go over a roundabout. I, I just don't understand it. All right. The Odell Bridge. I think that's the name of it. Haven't actually been over this bridge in a little bit. Odell Williamson Bridge. Yes, definitely low tide. There she is. The Atlantic Ocean. On such a beautiful day. guys I think that's a good place to end it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll catch you next time